singing of your pastor's microphone only on the graphic EQ for the speakers for the house. It will affect the other instruments that are coming out from the house. I will go again. Unlike the floor monitor, when you have monitors dedicated to a particular set of people, right? I would rather do my um, ringing, right? Not on the channel equalizer. I would rather do it on an external graphic equalizer if I have one. Do you understand it? Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't think you understand. Okay. When I firstly talked about ringing a microphone, I said from the auxiliary out, I will connect it to a graphic equalizer, right? Right? So when I am going to be ringing that microphone, I will do it on the graphic equalizer and not on the EQ of my microphone, the channel EQ. I will not adjust the feedback on the channel EQ. I will do it only on the speaker's graphic equalizer. Do you understand it? Right? Now, but for the house speakers, the front of house speakers, right? I will not do it on the equalizer of the speakers for the house speakers. Why? Because apart from the pastor's microphone, I have other instruments that are coming out of the house. So if I go and kill those frequencies in the bid of killing feedback on that microphone, I have spoiled other instruments that are meant to be coming out of the speaker. So when I'm going to be ringing pastor's microphone in the house, right, I would rather do the, the um, adjustment on the equalizer of the microphone. Do you understand it? And yesterday, he now talked about panning left or right. So meaning that if pastor comes down like this and he walks like this, right? When he's standing in front of the first speaker, right? This is my left, this is my right, right? So on his microphone, I will pan it more to that side so that his microphone is louder on that side than this side. And that way I will not have feedback. So I have to be watching him as he's moving. That's what he was saying yesterday when he said I could pan out to one side, pan out to the other side, because I don't want him feeding back here, right? And in the bit of also cutting feedback, I can't spoil the, the um, EQ of the microphone too much, right? So to actually get away with it, as he's here, I will pan more to that side. As he's moving and he's coming closer to this side again, I will pan more to that side till he finish expressing himself then when he's done and he goes back up i'll put it back in the middle right so that's why we said mixing is not you mix it and you leave it no you mix as the service is going do you understand this so that way all through from the beginning of service to the end pastor walks out there's no feedback hmm? he comes back here there's no feedback then, apart from pastor's mic, you do the same thing for all the microphones you're going to be using. Both the backup microphones, all the wired microphones, right? You need to check them on the floor monitors. So, during sound check, what you have to do is to ring all your microphones. And I always like to do that first. Let me explain it to you. Now, musicians never get satisfied sometimes when it comes to mixing them. Right? They can take your two hours of sound check and you just discover that ah, we've not checked pastor's microphone and time has gone. And also you cannot have the generator on for too long during sound check for, for places where they have to run a generator. So what do you have to do? Once you guys get there early first, pack all the microphones and take them to stage and check them one after the other. So if I'm actually going to do that, I will walk up here And I will have all the microphones and I will do this. And someone is on the mixer, right? Changing all the parameters, checking all the EQs. Mic one, check, 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 check. I check it here, I check it here, it's loud enough. I, I point it to it, right? It's actually loud enough. I cap it, 
right? For the lead singer. Then the uh, microphones, I will not check backup microphone on lead singer's monitor because they are not using it here. Now, if you are in a church where they are not disciplined enough, you also have to understand that in some places, eh, the um, singers that are backing up, they will go and use their backup microphone and come forward and use it to lead a song. So you have to educate them and be on their case that anybody that is going to lead a song, there are some songs that three people have to lead from time to time in the same song, right? And you only have two lead microphones and the third one is going to be a backup microphone. Um, sorry, third, yeah. You just have two lead, lead microphones, right? So as the first person finish leading, the person should give it to the third person that is going to come out. Do you understand it? So even if that person is actually backing up and it's time for the person to actually lead, they should exchange microphones. Do you understand it? You have to discuss these things with your music directors. It's one of the things that mess you up. Because if the person walks up here with a backup microphone, apart from feedback, you also have issues of, okay, it's not loud enough for this floor monitor, right? They now start to complain that they didn't hear themselves while they were singing. Then even you yourself that you are mixing for the front of ours, it will be loud enough suddenly. So you have to have to um, um, increase that person's microphone to cover up so that it is loud enough for that administration. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So these are the little things that used to spoil our work. They are so little, but they are very important. So after I'm done with this, I will do that, do all the backup microphones. And here I have four monitors. So what I have to do is check the first one check the second one right check the third one check the fourth one the reason why i have to check them one after the other is also that i may have changed the twitter of this one and this one's twitter may not be as sharp as this one even though they are the same products do you understand so in sound we don't assume you don't assume that oh they are both something i've checked it here it will be fine here no you came for setup. You have to pay attention to every detail. Don't leave any detail untouched. Then after you've checked it here, the side field that is feeding them here too, right? You have to also take the microphone there and check it. Check, 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 one, two, one, two. And make sure that the level is loud enough there too, till there's no feedback. Go to the other side too and do what you have to do. See, reason is, there are times you may have guest ministers that don't understand the way you actually operate. You cannot box them. Hmm? And they can be very expressive, very, very expressive. If you have Tim Godfrey come to your church to come and minister, he, his backups are all over the place. They are jumping around, touching, you know, moving around. Will you say, ah, don't move towards the floor monitor? No. And some, there are some times that as they finish performing, right, they actually start dancing. As as they finish singing in between their um, performance, they will hold their all their mics down. And they start dancing. When they do that, what happens? Noise. You have feedback. So we do now start to say, uh, why did they do that now? No, it's part of performance. Perfor even if you have mics um and backup microphones that are with mic stands, right? Wired microphones. Remove them from the mic stand and check. A lot of singers don't like that mic stand thing. So you put it on the mic, they will remove it and use it down. So do it the way they will do it so that you have peace of mind. Do we understand? Are we together? So I want to take it as henceforth. I am never going to see hear feedback in your churches anymore because you now all know the secret and how to do it to make sure you don't have feedback. Now, the next thing I'm going to be going into, I'm going to be talking about um, speaker positioning for the band, right? For the keyboardist, for the um, drummer, for the bassist. 
right? So first thing I'm going to say is for the drama. Now you have to make sure that is subufa, right? Is not in front of the kick drum. Let me go to that side. I hope the camera will be able to get.